In this video I'm going to show you what I built today. It's a random number generator using a 8-bit adaption of XOR shift and uh, PRNG which means that it's uh, only pseudo random. It's just not actually uh, that good but whatever. One of the drawbacks is that you can't have zero as a value because it just kind of gets stuck. So it's a pretty simple algorithm. You take your current state then you XOR it with the state shifted to the left by 7. Then you take that and do like the same thing, but with it shifted to the right by 5. And do it one more time with it being shifted to the left by 3. And then you get your uh, new state, which you can output. So I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to turn it on to the generate numbers position on this lever. What that does is it now allows this machine to run, but the problem is, is if this is zero, if you were to follow this algorithm, you get zero back out. So I added these buttons in here so you can see the random number generator. You just might want to hit these a few times to get it going, and then I'll start generating random numbers. So how it works is I have this huge machine back here. Well, I guess it's not that big. And they pretty much implement that same exact algorithm I was talking about earlier. So I'm going to shut it off so it can hear me better. Okay. So it's pretty simple because a uh, shift literally just means that you're going to be rewiring the like bit since it's a shift by a fixed number. So. For example, on this first layer, since we're shifting to the left by 7, that means that I can pretty much, uh, or I'm going to XOR with the left by 7, which means that the right 7 bits are all going to just go straight through, and then this first bit is going to be XOR with the rightmost bit over here. So I have a little bus which takes it from over here over to this uh, XOR gate thing and this pretty much uh, gets a one tick pulse from these observer blocks so it creates an XOR uh, technically it's not the greatest design because it's a little finicky thing over here these should all be uh, set to zero to so off but whatever so just a quick design I came up with and so it goes to the next layer, a little bit more complicated, so now we have three. And the last layer is much more complicated because almost every single one of these has an XOR attached to it. And once it gets to the end, it just kind of feeds back into itself. So it can start over and repeat the loop. So thank you for taking a quick look at this design I made, and farewell.